Perfect. Okay, and here's the passenger side front. So again, you know, this is the one that people can't see. And I can confirm that, yes, I have a nice crack there. Hey, what's up guys and welcome to this video. I'm sure if you're here, you are probably aware of the acute problem with the E46 chassis and the subframe, uh, which uh, essentially creates cracking and stressing on the rear axle carrier panel, which is a problem, especially on the M3 with the six speed manual. And in this case, our project car, which is going to be a track car, uh, we definitely need to be proactive before the uh, damage uh, becomes too severe. So in our case, we're, we've actually decided we're going to take a three-layered approach. And so the first layer is going to be uh, dropping the subframe itself and welding up the Turner Motorsports um, reinforcement plate. So that's what you're going to see in this video. The second layer is going to be underneath the floor panel and where the carrier bolts um, that hold the subframe up um, connect uh, underneath the floor panel, we're going to be creating a custom brace that essentially creates a one, um, one piece of, of metal uh, between those carrier bolts and the actual chassis rails. And so we'll have a direct connection. And we're going to be um, doing that on the rear subframe mounts. On the subframe mounts, we will also be doing custom bracing that will be hidden under the floor. So pretty exciting uh, for that video. <clears throat> and then the third layer to our system is we're going to be creating a removable uh, strut, a uh, rear strut brace. And so that brace will connect to the rear struts, obviously, as well as to the new custom brace uh, that we're building that will be mounted underneath the floor. And this will be <clears throat> removable. <clears throat> completely removable. So the custom um, fabrication work is going to be covered in a separate video. Uh, this video is just focused on dropping the subframe itself as well as uh, welding up the plates and, and also inspecting and seeing the damage um, that uh, has occurred on this car, which is uh, e 2002 E46 M3 with about 220,000 kilometers on it, uh, mostly highway driven uh, kilometers. And so uh, this video is not going to be like a step-by-step -step DIY. It's going to be more of a, a video log or a, a build log, a build journal of the uh, modifications that we're doing to it as a project car. Um, so essentially, the steps are pretty straightforward. We were fortunate, uh, at least I was fortunate enough, that the car is up on a lift, as you can see, which makes the job uh, much easier. Um, the first thing you have to do essentially is lower or remove all of the uh, covers. Uh, drop the exhaust, which you can see we're working on now in the video. Um, with the exhaust removed, uh, there's um, there's a, there's a uh, heat shield that comes down. Um, disconnect uh, the drive shaft, and when you disconnect the drive shaft, be sure to mark it and put it back exactly in the same place. Um, the drive shaft is balanced, and it's it's very important that you follow the proper instructions for. Um, disconnecting and reassembling uh, the drive shaft. Uh, with the drive shaft removed, uh, we pulled the e-brake cables from the handle up in the in in the um, inside the car. And by the way, there's a, a separate video on rebuilding the whole e-brake system, um, so you can check that out. And um, so pulling that through uh, the body as well as and then and then essentially looking where everything was everything is connected to the to the body, so all of the wires, all of the cabling, um, you know, being very careful that there's nothing actually attached, and then uh, slowly removing. Um, so in our case, this is the first time uh, that we've um, done this. So we actually strapped up uh, the subframe, and so to have, uh, an, you know, just to be sure, and and we wanted to do this very gently. Um, so you'll see in the video that we. Um, after we put the strapping on the car, 
or, or sorry, on the subframe, we removed everything that we thought um, should come off. Uh, we then lowered the car, uh, put the um, jack underneath, and then slowly raised the car. And again, this is just because this is our first time doing this, and we weren't sure exactly if we had all the connections. Um, so that's kind of the, the process that we followed um, to um, uh, lower the subframe. Now, we're not going to just weld the plates and then put the subframe back up. We're actually going to pull all of these pieces out, and we are going to clean them up. We're going to change out the bushings, uh, replace damaged parts, um, and essentially put everything back together uh, nicely. Uh, including like you know rusted fuel lines and rusted brake lines and everything else. So a uh, pretty big project uh, for good. us uh, and for me, so essentially you know reassembling the the full uh, rear end. So here we go. Cool. Subframe removed. Okay, in case you're wondering, classic crack discovered. This is driver side rear. Uh, crack you can see there um, It looks like the the fender well is okay. It looks like maybe there might be one popped All right, with this guy. weld we're gonna go back over here. So this is the other classic scenario Okay, and here's the passenger side front so again, you know This is the one that people can't see and I can confirm that yes, I have a nice crack there um, so as we go forward, we'll see what else we discover, but so far so good. It's just You um, know, nah, it's just the um, typical stuff and we're gonna catch it before we make our track ready <laughs> <laughs> So we've got some major stuff happening to here, right? It's oh, yeah. a major custom going on oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's cool. So that's great. So here it is on the ground 2002 E46 M3, this is probably the first time the subframe has been lowered. Since it was from the factory. Since it's from the factory, that's for sure. And we're sitting here in February 2018. Okay, so we're here on the front passenger. And you can see the stress was creating a crack and you can see how much it's bent. So that's from torquing, lateral torque, side to side. You can see that. And if we go over to the driver's side, Everything looks pretty good on the driver's side. There's no stressing, there's no cracking, nothing. Then we're going to swing back over to the driver's side on the rear. And there's that small crack up here. That's pretty much it. Everything else looks pretty good. And uh, there's a couple of spot welds that might need to be cleaned up. And then over on the passenger side, it looks pretty good. So there we go. We're all ready for welding. Whoa. Rock and roll, baby. Okay, guys, and that's it. The subframe plate's welded on, ready to go. Here it is on this side. You can see the welds there from the upside. Yeah, there's a little weld from coming in from the top. And as you can see, we started replacing the brake lines. So that's a separate video. And then over here on the driver's side, plates in. So we've got the plates welded in, but the action is actually on the work that's happening upstairs. And that's in a se separate video where we're doing some custom fab. So check it out.